Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back in Elite Dangerous showing you another beautiful, i just going to call it there, I'm just going to call it beautiful ship, one of my, you know, big faves in the game. Um, didn't think I'd be flying it this soon, but I'm glad to be able just to kind of break it in, do a little test drive, show you guys off. We are in the Orca, um, the luxury ship, uh, well one of the luxury ships of the uh, Elite Dangerous Fleet. Um, giving you a bit of background that you will find from the storefront. Um, the South Kruger are famed for their range of luxury passenger vessels. This is their top of the line vessel, although they do offer custom built vessels that are bigger interesting um, and is capable of carrying passengers in extreme comfort and elegance for its size and class it's also quite capable of defending itself well if you have you know VIPs or dignitaries you're gonna want to protect your cargo you know uh, rather than just carrying tea or coffee around the galaxy but let's check her out South, Kr South Kruger I think that's how you pronounce it uh, we have even nice floor this is lush. Same cockpit chair, which we know we'd all kind of come to expect. Uh, a lot of neon striping here. Very futuristic. Great, great visibility. Real panoramic display. Again, two person up front. I'm sure there's multi crew in here. We can see right back. Kind of like a cellar cartography panel up there, maybe for kind of on the flight navigation for other people. Again, safety first, extinguisher and a panel, well, a door going into the rear quarters. Really spacious. Maybe overly spacious for the lack of kind of control surfaces. Um, nice center console. Of course, embossed with the manufacturer. Black and yellow neon for my co-pilot. And obviously we have the orange and yellow over this side. Nice vents to keep me cool as I cruise the galaxy. Another twin monitor over there with the kind of as they still are cartography kind of image on. Some little bits and bobs lighting up here. I'm not sure what these little modules are up here, but I'm sure you might get a tech manual at one stage or another. But she's a beautiful ship. So let's take a look at her in outfitting, just so we can admire her beauty. So what do we have? One large hard point, interesting. Two medium and three utility points yeah she's a few teeth but again she'll you know defend herself more so than attack uh... look at that you know you definitely know where the orca name came out of anyway um... what's her jump range here uh... four point seven seven decent power out of the bat and what do we have thirty two sixteen sixteen eight with a type three type two internal one free so we can upgrade those Decent cargo, I suppose. Not too bad, and plenty of room to upgrade. No decals allowed, and no paint jobs allowed, but I don't think you'd want to. But let's take her for a spin. Launch. wonder what she sounds like. I wonder how she moves. I'd say she's be quite maneuverable. She's long, but she's slender. The Rolls Royce of the fleet. Ooh, she kind of lights up when the... Sunshine. I say sunshine, I mean the artificial light of the station. Ship released. Engines engaged. She's quiet. She's quiet. She's fairly maneuverable, actually. What's out there? Python. She kind of has a purr to her. Oh, please ignore that audio anomaly. I found that at the odd time in beta. It's a really cool view though. You really soak up the old, the old galaxy in here. Good sound. Kind of like the Cobra, I think. So... What are we cruising at 300? Pretty good. What does she boost to? 373 at max, that's pretty okay. Let's swing her around and do a little flyby. Here we go. The majesty of the station ahead of us. Yeah. She's not too maneuverable though. 
I'm just looking at the icon down there. It doesn't feel like I'm moving <laughs> that instantly. So let's do the same as what we did with the python. Don't want to crash into anything though. How much is this? 1.8 million insurance. Yowza. Don't scratch the paint. But if the python can fit through here, I can fit through here. Yeah. I'll go with that. She's kind of dancing around here fairly okay. Ooh, got a proximity alert there. So I'm not used to kind of flying big ships still, you know. I've gotten accustomed to the Cobras and... Ooh, I th thought I got very close there. <coughs> Let's take her into land. Docking request granted. Kind of throw her around here a little. She's quiet. If you want a kind of resonant ship, this might not be the ship for you guys. And... There we go. Interesting sound there. What's coming out or... Oh, that's going in there. What the hell? Oh, that's another orca. So where are we going? Pad 40. So that's actually what I'm flying. Landing gear deployed. You can see the actual undercarriage there. Very handy actually. Thank you for coming in ahead of me. I'm not loitering. She's a pretty ship. I'm sure there's a party going on in there. A beer party. Okay, where am I going to? Pad 40, which should be beneath me. Yes, it is. Okay, the undercarriage down, but she's still... She's still kind of dancing around the pads. Pretty good. Unlike the old Type 9. But she's just a beast altogether. Now, why don't I actually have any um, landing? What's going on? Do I sense bug? Let's just retry that here. Damn, I hate this. Okay, she's lit up. Coming in for landing. And we have a dock and bug. The joys. Had to cancel docking and retry in order to land the ship. Um, but yeah, hopefully stay tuned for another video, maybe showing this in combat. I'm not 100% sure, but you never know. Um, thank you very, very much for tuning in to watch this video. And I hope it was enlightening or even just teasing you or what you might want to get in the future of Elite Dangerous. So um, again, leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe just not to miss out on any other up and coming Elite Dangerous or other nerd game extravaganzas that might fall upon my channel. <laughs> I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. I've been Irish Trekkie and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye bye.